What's up guys? George G back with another pre-recorded video. Trying to get caught up on a little bit of Wolfenstein, so let's see what we can get done today. William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? That'll be all. We can go now. Critical. Alright, so we're looking for a mold. And we're looking for some documents, so... Let's see if we can find the, uh... Archive room. I don't know if it's down here. Might be. We go. There's a batch of mold. Need a circular saw to cut a sample. Got to be some power tools nearby. All right, power tools. So, fellas, uh, speaking German, so I don't understand what they're saying. Whoa. All right, now I gotta get back up. Find a way around. No. Oh. That was a lot of damage. Oh. Yeah, that didn't work out. I'll try that again. Yep, there you go. House of the Rising Sun. Great song. Ooh. It's like I can bounce that off of surfaces, I guess. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son. Born during the war. A miracle, he called it. Say, so had tried for years to have a child. Him and his wife. 
Well, he'd make a pretty good father. For a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself? I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. down maybe check on max see if he's okay nice all right so now we're looking for an archive room I still need those state records. Can you look in the archives room? I think it's right over there. Right over there, huh? The soldier man. They keep the door to the archives, you know, like locked that. I think maybe Wyatt has a key. All right. Let's find Wyatt. Hey man, relax. All right, I got one of them, but I don't know where to put them or what. I'll just hang on to it, I guess. All right, Wyatt, where are you at, dude? to the archives and you got them yes i think so perfect Just gosh dang perfect what do you got there dog tags wing commander fergus reed of the royal air force took those off of his dead body wanted to return him to the raf but then there was no raf best damn pilot i ever saw in a hell of a soldier i'm not cut out for this you know cut out for what this Everything. I was 18 years old, and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people killed. You remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed, sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. I just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed. He wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left the boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know when mistakes were made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? Jeez. All right, we got the key. Let's open that door. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. If 
find what you were looking for in the archives? Yep. Got something. Uber concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on a dot issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tampering with the mix. Someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in dot e shoot documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Wuj and sent off to a forced labor camp in Belice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. The labor camp excavates limestone from a quarry for a manufacture of uber concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find Seth Roth, a living member of Dot Egypt. The problem is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. What is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? You ready for this, Blaskovich? Yeah, undercover. So stupid. I was arrogant. No one is ever ready for something like this. They're gonna see me. Oh. oh, don't look at my face. Tattoo machine or something. Human beings. Like cattle in this place. Need to stay calm. Remember the mission. Find, set, raw. Count to four. Inhale. Gotta go in there. <laughs> the first day is tough, my friend. Clear to accept. It gets no easier. Me. Now I can remember Nimir how many weeks long, months maybe. Not many survive for long. I was fighting the Nazis in Africa. I held them back for a while. My it and the luck. It was too strong. Now I just try to survive day for day. I'm looking for a man called Set Roth. I have heard of him. Survived in here longer than any other. He's in Block 4. Jay want to go there? Jay need director uniform. Who ever dumped? Look for a prisoner over there by your right. Dressed in a Block 4 uniform. Say now Miss Milo. I heard his wife is quartered in our block. Maybe that will convince him to trade uniforms with you. But they need to distract the guards first. Hmm. Okay. That's it. Oh. Oh. 
what? Good trick you want the guards off your back. There you go. So, how do they switch uniforms in that room with a big window where everyone's watching? The world may never know. The lagers are gesmolzen. Brauchen wir noch ein paar Mechaniker. Wenn die kommen erst morgen wieder. Na ja, dann machen wir Schluss für heute, oder? Ja. Komm, gehen wir schlafen. Warum denn nicht? Aufgemerkte Feinde! Die Fabrik ist heute geschlossen. Kehrt sofort in eure Quartiere zurück. Insassen von Block 4 durch das rote Tor. Enters for block six, Dr. Spoitor. I hope they find what they seek, my friend. My name is Bombati. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. <laughs> safe. <laughs> All right, cool. So now I'm looking for homeboy. Hmm. Not sure if it's this way. Yeah, let's go back down. This Shimshin, so much muscle of physique, what for combat? You said Roth? I'm not sure yet. What do you know of said Roth? You thought you should. Source of the Nazi technology, I'm here to rescue you. You're here to rescue me? This is wonderful. He's here to rescue me. Who will rescue him? And then, uh, get your back, Shimshin. Don't waste your time. I swore an oath to never betray the secrets of Das Oh, fuck your oath. People are dying. The resistance calls on you. So it's a transaction of sorts, right? My personal freedom for the secrets I swore to keep. Sacrifice my honor on the altar of righteousness. Well, permit me a moment to consider, Shimshin. Here's my proposition to you. Aid me in closing this place down and I will seat you and your comrades at the table of true power. Deal. I've been working on a little project. That machine there, uh, it moves because of stolen dust. You hood technology, I know it very well. Now this, don't look at this so bluntly. This, what this I can seize control over that machine, level the gates of this place, free everyone. I only miss one more part. Name it. That's a power source. Now, that machine, all its electrical systems are powered by a detonic battery. You can find the detonic battery at the service station at the command building. It's in a different lock, lock six. If you can disable the automatic security systems monitoring the exits, you'll be able to make it into lock six. I believe that there 
At the guards' barracks, there's a control module. It controls the security systems. Find a way in. Locate the control module. Disable the systems. Come back to me. And his eyes, dude. Need some vitamins or something. Alright, we gotta disable the security system. Things crazy looking. Uh, no weapons area for now. A little bit of armor. von ihm zu erwarten ist. Doch weit gefehlt. He's chopping me up. Du erbärmliches Stück Scheiße. Ich werde jede einzelne Kakerlacke zertreten. Hey man. Let's uh, get out of here. Let's get this guy. Take his armor. Oh, there's another guy right there. Oh, there's a dog right here too. There you go, three in a row. gold gold dagger I don't know what else we got nice and smooth no problems oh here he is sometimes we have to find other ways of resistance than violence the slightest adjustment 
of the chemicals, the stabilizers, the mixture, structural sound, the CO's, mold develops. Um, secure the systems. It's done. Wow, Shimshin. What is your name, Nikola? Blaskovich. Blaskovich, yes, Blaskovich. So, now the security systems are, are, are disabled. You can go past this gate, back through the factory, out the blue gate inside block six, where the command control building is located. Sneak inside, get the detonic battery. Please act urgently before anyone notices what you have done. That's the high angle there. What's that? That's good luck. All right, easy enough. We go through here, I think. Yep. I think we're going to be sneaking around a little bit more. So the goal is to be completely undetected. Right? Let's see if we can do it. Sorry, dude. You still gotta be careful. There could be more guys walking around. there. Let me go behind the car. Got him. supposed to do oh he's got that thing in his hand cool yo snapped your neck snap the necks and cash and checks Like a jack o' lantern. Skin shot. Your fat's rendered. Your kind exterminated. Ooh. Your face. Feed your flesh to the furnace. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Just threw her. Nice. Good job, old man. Open the garage door, steal a vehicle, and crash through the gate. 
Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Oh. All right, who's next? Something's coming through. That guy's tough. I'm tougher. Alright, here we go. Alright, cool. is an ancient mystical society. For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, no, Mamale, we don't pray. We invent things, Mamale. The technology developed by Daasichas is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined, and highly dangerous in the wrong hands. And the Nazis found our safety. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found, others. Great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you will seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeeper's hidden deep below the Atlantic Ocean. We will need a U-boat capable of great depths, that's all. We cannot just walk up and steal a gosh darn Nazi U-boat. Hey, man. I know how to get a U-boat, but for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Yichud engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We would need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, help him out, sir, if you'd be so kind. Hmm? All right. Need some welding equipment. Oh, Mr. Blaskovich, I will need some welding equipment, please. Sid. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you were doing in this organization of yours. Was it some kind of supernatural engineering? That's. We don't believe in things supernatural, Mamali. We believe in God. Yeah, ch -ch 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 -ch. The Das Yichud is, is, is a, it's a philosophy. It is a way of understanding God through knowledge. It is based on pure reason, pure rational thought, not supernatural bobkis. Huh. Hmm. So everything you have created 
What were you planning on using all that stuff for? Well, you don't understand, Mama Leitis. There was never any purpose or intent of use beyond the act of creation. We create to commune with God. Do you see that? You've lost me. It's like mathematical equations. Oh, go on, go on, Leitis. And each solved equation brings you closer to God. Mm. But never intended to be used. No, the, the act of creation itself is the intended use. Oh, Tazui, made the legend. Is yes, something cooking in that Chinese cookhouse? Uh, do you appreciate the, 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 the distinction? Mamala, this safekeep I'm about to reveal to you is not a treasure chamber. It is a deep geological repository uh, protecting some of our most dangerous creations for the sake of the outside world. The purpose already served. Do you see that? Whatever helps the cause. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh. Well, that's our friend. We got some new people. Captain Blaskovich. Thank you. Anytime, dude. Me back to my wife. Oh. I had lost her. I had lost so many. All right, no problem. You got it. Just gotta find this welding gear. We'll be back in business. Tools is probably it. So why it's got the welder? Why it? All right. All right. What is this? Gotta cut that. I think maybe. Hmm. Do we want to have a nightmare? Let's have a nightmare. Oh, that's right. I forgot this was in here. This is the uh, OG. Wolfenstein, man. This is the first like 3D first person shooter game ever. This game used to give me like major motion sickness back in the day. Yep, secret. Super cool. Nice. Ooh. Could use that. Whoa. <laughs> Just totally missed that. Alright, we're still good. how you do it that's kind of cool what's going on oh. oh I'm sorry it's just my wedding ring it's gone I'm always so clumsy I lost it when we got back it's not worth much, but it's all I have left of him. My dear Sebastian. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, is that Vault 101? Cool. It's our guy right here. What's up, Captain? Looking for the welder. You seen it? Oh, yeah. I, I was attempting to fix the broken railing over at the secret fountain entrance, and I dropped a welder in the water. I haven't gotten around to fishing it out yet. Maybe you could give it a shot? Look by the secret fountain entrance, Captain. Man. I dropped a welder in the water. Slacking. All right. Oh, what's up? Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Ag, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already, and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changer. No matter who you are, what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind, make it through to the other side, and kill all the Nazis. <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration, Veneer. That time comes. You're on. You're on. All right, so that's where we're going. We gotta fish out this welding stuff. So. Oops. There it is. I keep an eye out for a ring. Watch your head. Strobe. Heading down. All right, here we go. I got one. All right, gotta recharge. All right, don't shoot me, dude. All right, cool, perfect. Perfect timing. Got him. Keeping an eye out for a ring. Hopefully we find it. I'm gonna backtrack. Oh. That happened. There you have it. Long walk for a lousy welder. Here we go. If we're going to steal a Nazi U-boat, I need set to repairs that thing on the table. Help him with his work, will you? Oh, Isha Koach, Shimshon, Isha Koach. That's all I need. Or actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Like I'm a goddamn errand boy. <laughs> William. Do you have a moment? Uh oh. Listen to my voice, Blaskovich. There you are now, inside sewage tunnels. The intestinal tracks of the city. And deeper below, the Berlin catacombs. The vast complex. The most secure site in all Berlin. The central munition stockpile of the Nazi regime. The things we could do with those weapons. Riot. We revolt. This access route is waterlocked. Impenetrable to outsiders. There's only one way to breach across the perimeter. It's a tunnel glider. 
The Nazis use them for maintenance down there. We've been trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to Set's underwater safe keep. Use the Tano Glider to find a way to the weapons depot in the burning All right. Combs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Back off the Tano Glider. It's your only source of oxygen. I was a kid. The red tide was rising. Went in the water on account of disobeying father. Felt like my skin was on fire. Some areas might be too narrow for the tunnel glider. You may have to swim. Alright, let's do it. Alright. That's where we're going. I'm gonna go like this. And jump out. Alright, big gap. Perfect. Swim any water in my You can find the controls for this. Watch out for these mines. Cut it. Nope. Stop moving, dude. Here you go. Oh, it did it for me. All right, let me get out of here. I need some oxygen. Let's see if we can, uh, that armor upgrade very cool okay let's go down see what we got here auto save so that means something's about to happen Thing after another. Locate the train and drive it to the abandoned underground train station north of there. Our people will see what that did. Ultras are being frequency to affect the mechanical targets closer to the path. So it uh, it's a homing thing. Klaus will give you further details on the ground. All right. See that. So, this is George in the kind of near future talking. Uh, I did previously record this section about two hours worth. And uh, come to find out, it didn't record any of the vid like the video portion at all. It was completely blacked out. So that was a bit of a letdown. And then I did it again. And ended up not recording anything so there's a bit of a letdown a couple times but we're back here trying to do it again and hopefully we can get this done without any incident right, got him we're just gonna start taking these dudes out getting back to where we were so got that guy sorry doggy but you know, we can't take any chances around here. Do it that way, bam. I think we're good. Let's 
Got him. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Jump down here. Recharge here. And I think there's one more of these. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I kind of did. I don't know. There you go. I think that's everybody. That's how you do it. Right on time, Captain. Walk in the park, was it? No. Okay, well, mm. I'll just get to work. I have a friendly face. Delivers to the Navy Yard. Alles in Ordnung, Horst? Du, nimm nicht so viele Kissen, sonst merken die, dass etwas nicht stimmt. Ja, ja. They supply the torpedoes to all the Nazi U-boats in Europe. You will hide in the torpedo. Horse will slip it back into main supply. And you will wake up on a U-boat for breakfast time. Once we have a U-boat, we take it to set secret safekeep, yeah? Any sailors? Get in the way. Bang bang's all the pup. Air holes. Okay, career Johnny. Get in the torpedo. Once you board the U-boat, patch this thing into the communication room and raise the antenna buoy. We need radio contact. The dark dreams seem to fade. Too far out of reach. For now, I just miss the light. All right, so here we go. We are inside the submarine. Let's go ahead and switch to our stealth weapons. One. Two. Three. That was not as stealthy as I wanted, but there was no alarm, so that's all good. saw me already. They're just lining up for it, man. Can't shoot that guy? There you go. There you 
Easy enough. Take that, thank you. at him. Of the submarine. Cats in the bag. Bags in the river. Woo! Way to go, Captain! We are airborne. Please keep the channel open so we can home in on your signal. Hey, Captain! You've hijacked the evil hammer, the mightiest U boat in the whole gosh darn Nazi fleet. Best of all, I'll tell you what, there is a nuclear cannon on this vessel. A darn nuclear cannon! Had integrity, this guy. The U-boat captain paraded to his death rather than surrender his vessel. Took the decryption keys to the nuclear cannon with him. It won't fire. Normal shells, yes, but not the nuclear warheads. Why don't you talk to us, Captain U-boat? Why so dead? With those keys, we could just sail right up to Death's Head, obliterate the whole compound, end them once and for all. So, let's get decryption keys. Here's the problem. There are no actual nuclear decryption keys on planet Earth. They're stored at the Nazi lunar base. U-boat captains must learn them by heart. The lunar base is as secure a facility as the Nazis have. It's where they do all their top secret research these days. Uh, I'll go to the moon. Never been. Carolina and I are putting together a plan back at HQ. My father taught me this rhyme as a child. Now many other songs for different places. Whoa, something's moving. You should move out of the way. Inside. Right, don't mind if I do. Very good. How do you 
Sure. create an entryway. Uh, this machine here, it controls the electromagnetic field. Yes. Yeah, this looks like the uh, dwarven okay, stuff One. from Skyrim. One, two, three, go! Like dwarven technology? Mr. Blaskovich, show me your laser weapon, please. There. This is the Asyukhut prism to make your laser beam attuned to the proper frequency. And you should be able to charge the magnetic coils. You see them? It's, it's up there. All right, well, let's go. Work to get this thing going. How is this possible? This is an ancient place. Uh, one of many, the Asyukhut. It built places like this before mankind knew of the comet. No. You have plenty of the comet. Here we go. No, Yingle, tell me, Seth Roth is not a genius. Gentlemen, this is it. Go ahead, look around. Anything that is useful to you, you may take. Just remember. Caroline. Come in, Caroline. You are. You made it. Yes. Read the signs. Come in. Come in. I read you, Caroline. We have a lead on those decryption keys for the nuclear cannon. Anya, it's a troop transport train recalled from the African front. On board is the chief research scientist for Death's Head's latest generation super soldat program. He's leaving for the Nazi lunar base tonight to oversee the launch of the new super soldat. We intercept the troop transport train, locate the chief research scientist, steal his identity, and use it to permit Blaskovich to take his seat on the lunar shuttle. Once you're the lunar base, you need to find the nuclear decryption keys and bring them back to Earth. Hey, when you say intercept the high-speed Nazi troop transport train, how do we do that? 
Best side will be the Gibraltar Bridge. Geez, and how do we stop the train? Set. Any ideas? We can use this one. This is very, very powerful. Where it, in English you can call it, I mean, how's the spindly talk? You you drop this in front of the train. This this will stop anything. Excellent. Leave right away. That the train is en route. Wow. You may want this for yourself, Captain Blaskowitz, but I'm planning on keeping it. He gives that to Caroline. Nazis built this bridge three years yeah. ago. Straight shot to the African front. They're just devouring Africa like they did everywhere else. The train should be arriving at the bridge any moment now. It's going time, Cap. Ready up. All right, here we go. Jump. Took care of him right there. Oh, that's like a piece of flesh or something. very limited so we gotta make some good shots let me take this guy out first though let's do this got him Inside, Death's Head's chief research scientist bound. 
Well, I'm coming for you. Nazi fucking spaceman. Nazis all look like ants on an anthill, and you're like this dick poking you. Doors unlocked. Hey, Captain. Well, stand by. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I found a spot where I can drop you off closer to the nautical wagon. Proceed down through the checkpoint interior and meet me outside on the walkway underneath the bridge. You know, 
sir. I was a kid. The man I looked up to most was my wrestling coach. Coach Anderson. You remind me of him. All these years keeping the resistance going with Caroline. A lot of times I ask myself, what would Captain Blaskowitz do? What would Captain Blaskowitz do? Still do. All right, I'll drop you off here. equipment up there, but you need to check it as luggage. Not allowed in the passenger cabin. You need to keep a low profile. You may need a shave and a haircut. You certainly need some sleep. <laughs> You'll need to recover your equipment from the luggage area once you've arrived at the lunar base. Finally, you need to find those nuclear decryption keys. There you go, guys. We made it to the moon. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hopefully um, everything comes together good. I know I had to re-record the last half of this video. So hopefully it all, you know, it's uh, something that you guys enjoy watching. And um, yeah, can't, uh, looking forward to the next time we get to play this live. Um, yeah, if you did like the content and you feel like dropping a like, then go ahead and, and drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I uh, do invite you to go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we'll finish this game off the next time we play it. I think there's only like like four missions left. Um, but this should go pretty quick, I think, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for checking this out. Hope you guys had a good time and we will see you next time. Take care, guys.